Everyone's looking at him like he's an idiot. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. Okay. It's glorious. It's glorious. Are we Maybe. All right, let me just put grab one thing real quick in my room. <laughs> oh, it's in my room. I'm trying to tell you something, but my friends, some for some reason, they search Jericho on YouTube, and the first thing that pops up is your uh, podcast. And they were like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> like it was like a podcast I did like a month ago. <laughs> they were in it. <laughs> they just they loved the picture for the video. It's just some weird close up on my face. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> that, that was literally the frame you froze on during the oh, podcast. God. Oh, no. <laughs> this med sentence you freeze. Uh, Nos. 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 Yes. Nos. Yes. I think your light, your light doesn't work. My light doesn't work? I don't know. It did, it, nothing changed when you hit it. My fan did. Oh, oh, you're okay. doing the fan. I was like, yeah. wait, he's pulling on the thing and nothing's happening. It's just uh, the fan. He's got the crap out of me. Nos, if you would be so kind, if you could join the, the join? stream chat. Join which chat? I'm sorry. Z mine. Join uh, the like chat, on dude. Twitch or Skype? Twitch. Oh, okay. That's so why you I can like interact with the viewers. Oh, this could be oh cool. Yeah, we're doing this live, and the tickets will be uploaded to YouTube. Cool. I didn't know that. I I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh gosh. The funny thing is, the past few minutes we have been online. Have we actually? Been <laughs> the live? stream. The yeah, stream I know, I is going. <laughs> I didn't, it's I going. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, luckily, I'm on a different scene, so they can't actually see anything. But can they hear us? Oh, they can hear every <laughs> syllable, uh, including your including your questionable antics in Vegas. Which ones? Oh, You're gonna shit. have to be more specific. <laughs> oh, shit, there's more than one. And we're Are here, we people. About the thing that happened during my brother-in-law's uh, bachelor party, because that was a doozy. And, oh, is that the one where he ended up being a father of ten? No, that's the one where they swept Viagra in my drink before we went to a strip club. Oh, he... speak up, Francis. Your I voice got all leave. muffled from your head <laughs> being so far <laughs> up your ass. Serious, dude. Nos, <laughs> Nos, hurry. Nos, turn on your stream audio. You're going to love this. Wait, turn on the stream audio? Turn on the stream audio for a moment. You're going to love it. Nos just <laughs> Just in time. Francis, your voice got all muffled from your head being so far up your ass. I love that. I love that clip. Love it. So far up your ass, I missed the last part because you were talking over it. Oh, oh, I thought I thought it was over by your reaction. Nope, it was so just... far up your ass is the last part. Oh, okay. um, actually, I, I can more. force it to go again, I think. Um, night dev. Now, um, and you're right. The oh, head shit. does fit perfectly on top of the movie poster. <laughs> <laughs> Speak up, Francis. Your voice got all muffled from your head being so far up your ass. There we go. You can see how big my nose is when I turn to the side. What's a nose? That's what you notice. <laughs> I, I played it again for you. What is that from? <laughs> it's from Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> no, it's oh. from, no, it's um, Left 4 Dead 1. But it's it was reused in 2. Yep, yep, that sounds familiar. I was just like, I know it's from somewhere. It's like, this is very familiar. What the hell is this? What's going on? I don't understand. Nope, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, so we should probably do our introductions. We're already nearly five minutes in. Yeah, I know. Uh, so do an introduction for me? Um, hmm. I don't know. We should okay. probably plug for the movie first. Plug for the movie? Yes. Um, well, it is with Morgan Freeman, so that's instantly sold right there. But it's a movie 
dedicated to shower shorts. I mean, what more can you want? <laughs> There's I'm only funny. one pair of shower shorts left in the world. Exactly. Only one man could possibly have the skill needed to acquire these once more. He is Jer K. Crow. <laughs> I saw that. I love that. Jer Crow. Oh, Co-starring cool. with Morgan Freeman. Shower Shorts, the movie, coming this April. Oh, my birthday. <laughs> That's your birthday present. Happy birthday! I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Go, ahead, go ahead and do an introduction, Jericho. Okay. Go clockwise. Uh, I'm Jericho, and I stream on Twitch sometimes, and I play games fast. Sonic games. <laughs> And that's do, me. <laughs> do, do you go fast? Do you go fast? I try to go fast. No, 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 no. You you misheard the question. Do you go fast? I don't go fast. I only go fast. Oh, no, you see that? <laughs> now now you now you're the inferior product because you don't go fast. You gotta go <laughs> fast. <laughs> go ahead and tell everyone where they can find you. You can find me at twitch.tv slash J-E-R-K-R-O. <laughs> what hell if that was conveniently on the screen? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Somewhere like down there. <laughs> and then it magically appears above you. Pretty much. Does it really? Oh, no, it, it was still below you. Yeah, I didn't move it. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. The little links to our channels underneath them. Yep. There's, cool. a, there's, our, there's plugs for your channels the entire Perfect. time. That sounds good to me. Oh goodness! How about you, Nos? Who are you? What do you do? Where can we find you? And what's your blood type? Um, I'm Nos Mimi, 99. I speed run Banjo Kazooie. Uh, practicing, getting there. Still got a while to go, but I've been doing it for about two months, and that's pretty much the gist of it. I live in Florida, moved from New York, going to school to be a doctor. And I don't know my blood type, shockingly. Being that I'm gonna be a I, don't, I don't know my blood <laughs> type either, doctor. so you're not alone. I don't even know my blood type. Are that's you actually a some, that's actually something important that you should know. Just yeah. Do you guys know, know your blood type? Oh, uh, I can guess on like A, <laughs> just because my family is, but that's about it. There's nothing to do with it. I know. Yeah. So I'm just guessing. <laughs> I said the word guess. Uh. Right. Your blood type, man. You you probably have some weird blood type that's blue and goes really fast. Yeah, I can say that. Probably. Say it bleeds out really fast. No wonder that's your room is blue. That's not paint! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love my blue room, though. Everyone always like makes fun of it, but I love it. Even the, like ceiling the, ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling is blue. Yeah, the ceiling is blue. That was the one bit that was a little overwhelming. I'm like, oh, oh, shit, the ceiling's blue too. Uh, I w once had a room painted and it painted it like a um a light shade of orange. I picked it out and we never painted the ceiling and it was weird as fuck to me. It's like yeah, we I painted know. the room. Why did we skip the ceiling? Yeah, just looks like it stands out, right? Yeah, it's just all the walls are orange and then white. Yeah. I remember we we painted one room. It was like yellow, and my aunt just so elegantly put put it. Oh, it's a nice shade of baby poop yellow. She's like, ugh. Thank you, thank you for pointing that out, because I will never look at these walls the same anymore. <laughs> Thanks. I I have to live here, you know. Yeah, pretty much. Oh goodness. So. Shall we? Oh, I should probably plug since we're doing the hosting thing. Yeah. I'm the Saint of Sinex. I do YouTube and Twitch. I play all sorts of games. I don't even know what I want to stream steadily yet. Right now I'm trying to get through Pokemon Coliseum. But college oh, has been oh, getting in the way. Game. That game's awesome. Game. And I'm emulating Coliseum, so I've actually overrode the resolution by two times on both really? sides. Wow. It's all crisp and clear, and you could see the stains on the fur of the Pikachu. That's awesome. That's how much resolution there is. 
Someone say hi to Jade. He's lonely and shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, oh, Jade. <laughs> hi, Jade. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's <laughs> crying. You guys made Jade cry. We haven't even gotten. T we're, we're ten minutes into the podcast and someone's already crying. From now on, anytime he says something, I'll be sure to answer it. It's not me. I now have chat on my phone, so I won't miss a thing. It's all up, up to you. Finish the mission, Nos. It literally just said reconnecting to chat, so... <laughs> I can't see a shit, Captain! I won't miss a thing. Can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's trying to troll me. And I can, I can right. just imagine... We're talking about video games here, right? <laughs> We're talking about video games here, right? No. Yeah, isn't no. that what the point of this was? Not how pretty our rooms look? <laughs> yeah. That, what, what about that trophy back there, Jer? That's from yeah, bowling. That? Is that your bowling? Favorite? No, oh my god, I just burst <laughs> <laughs> it. It's from 2009. No, you can't even display the trophy without breaking everything. <laughs> it's a bad omen. It's a bad omen. Sit in a corner forever. I'm sorry to hear that, Jade. You shouldn't be sad. You should be happy. Oh, we're acknowledging you now. You should be very happy. Oh my gosh. Your room looks like an ocean. Nos. <laughs> Wait, what? Your, Your room, room looks, looks like, like an ocean, Nos. Yeah. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Not even 15 in, and Jerko already broke his trophy for playing with balls. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> looks like an alien exploded. That's actually very accurate. That's okay. You're never going <laughs> to look at that trophy the same way again. <laughs> it's your trophy for playing with balls. Pretty much. You look back there and you just get dramatic flashbacks of the bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> wee, 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 wee! <laughs> Oops, I didn't do that. Oh gosh, we, we haven't even gotten to our first topic. This is going yeah. swimmingly! Okay. Let's get to our first topic. What is our first topic? What is our first topic? I don't know, I'll someone pick the topic! Alright, uh, let's see. Um, how about the Nintendo being in the hole? Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Oh crap! Actually, closed out the link. There we go. Okay, so basically, a, uh, a report just came in. They displayed their earnings over at Nintendo, and despite the su the extreme success of Mario Kart 8, Nintendo's still in the hole. They're still losing money right now. About mm, ninety-two million. Yep. This quarter. There's a lot of money. There's a lot of money. But, I mean, for one thing, they got sales going up through the roof because of the Mario Kart 8. Oh, and yeah. then they also have other system sellers. Like for, of course, Super Smash Bros. is coming out. Which is a and system then, seller for both the Wii U and oh, the 3DS. Easily. And the 3DS sales have been phenomenal all year round. Like, the 3DS has dominated the Vita every step of the way. Hello, Mer. <laughs> oh, what's up, Martin? How are you doing? Martin's yeah, here. Look, what's up, Martin? Can I look all the way over to the right? I'm keeping track of chat over here. Really? Yeah, I got my second screen over here. Chat over there, so... Anyway. Um, I mean, the 3DS sales have been phenomenal. The game sales for the 3DS have been great. And then you not only have the fact that they have Brawl coming out for 3DS for the first time, which is easily going to be a system seller, they have it coming out for the Wii U. Um, Bro. I, can, I don't. I don't know. It, they might be not. losing money right now, but they're not going to be doing that for long. I don't think. Oh, it's the. It is Smash Bros. But it's, it's not Brawl. Uh, did I say Brawl? I meant yeah, Smash. Brawl. <laughs> I meant Smash Four. It's like what? I meant Smash Four. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. You you could have been during the melee generation and played a real Smash game, or you could be during the brawl generation and play it in slow mo and float around. Or you can play during the brawl generation and play the best game, Project M. Hey, Slacker. <laughs> What's up, Slacker? Welcome to the stream, Slacker. Speak up, Francis. Your voice got um, all muffled and then from your also head. The fact that so far Nintendo up your has ass. nobody could hear you for a moment. The follower alert went off. Oh, that's uh, hey, Omega. So, like Speak I, up, Francis. Uh, your voice got all muffled one. from your head being yeah, so far up your ass. Yeah, Slacker, Minnie, thank you for the follows. 
Be sure to follow any of the other people every night. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> just got two follows and everything went to hell. You were talking about the the uh, Smash being basically a system seller for the 3DS and the Wii U. Oh yeah, but not only that, they also had E3, which they did an amazing job of. Their state, their like oh, yeah. real stage presence that you know Sony and Microsoft did. Nintendo's their um their uh time they were on stage was only like half the time that it normally is for the other ones but the thing is throughout the entire week they released these like four hour long videos of different games that were coming out and they did awesome they had like the new Link game they had that new game Splatoon which looks friggin awesome I mean they have all these different games they showcased the new Mario Party all these stuff look like huge system sellers and even if all that fails I remember reading an article that said that Nintendo has something absurd like billions of dollars stashed away. It was away like that what it, forty billion? I think is what the article said. It, it was something like that. It was basically they could lose two billion dollars each year and still be around fifty years from now. Yeah, they were saying like it was like a two thousand twelve article, and they were saying they could still be functioning perfectly fine to like twenty fifty two. Yep. And still have the resources to pay their employees full time. Yep. Exactly. I mean, they, while the Wii U obviously started off terrible, it's getting back there, and they have a huge money buffer anyway, so I'm not worried well, at about at least they had wonderful anyway. one on 101 for a while. Yeah, seriously. I, that was kind of disappointing that, like, it was such a good game, and it didn't sell that great. Yeah. Like, as expect, like what I expected it to be. Yeah, I know, Slacker, it's been a while since you've seen the blue. I, I don't even have a Wii U, and I know of Wonderful 101. I love my Wii U. I love mine. I got mine. I've had it for the longest time. I play Pikmin all the time. I got the Wind Waker. Oh, oh you mean Super Mario 128? <laughs> yeah, 128. Yeah. Oh. For those of you that don't know, um, Super Mario 128 was a tech demo that came after Super Mario 64. And its um, coding from that tech demo was reused in making Pikmin. The game is, that's literally the same game. Yep. Yep. One and the, the same. Be able to function for, so many different Marios. I'm sorry. It was the show, well, no, it was just the show off Project Dolphin, which, you know, obviously ended up becoming the Nintendo GameCube. Exactly. And I remember, like, uh, when Melee was first announced at one of the E3s that they showed that intro cutscene that happens when you turn on the game and you don't do anything for a minute. It has that long cutscene that shows all the people. And apparently they went over the top to show, like, the different gra graphic capabilities of the GameCube, which I thought was pretty cool. Because even now, it still looks really good. Yeah. You take, for instance, yeah. um, Super Mario Sunshine. They oh hadn't God, even... So beautiful. They hadn't even gotten all of the technical shortcuts down pat for the yeah. system yet. Yeah, and that it was still an early game. It still looks good. Yeah, that game still looks awesome. Even if you override the resolution, the game still looks good. Yeah, I know. So that shows how much detail was packed into the game. I also, I found out that the the um heat the heat blur effect is literally um say here's your character, the tip of my finger. Here's a normal sized building in town. Okay. And then the the heat effect is literally a cone about this big around around your okay. character, just going up and down like that. The reason I know that is um you can use um AR codes to manipulate the intensity of the heat wave. Okay. And when you do that you can see it clipping into the ground and everything. It's right. literally a cylinder that follows your character. That's interesting. That's that was the shortcut. They're not actually blurring the distant things. Yeah, it's only selectively blurring where you're looking. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, God, they know how to make their games. <laughs> Shut up, oh, my voice cracks sometimes, dude. A, an NES cartridge designed to be an, a, yeah, a functional NES console. Well, wow. I I can see that being done with considering how compact things are. Why does what? this need to be a Holy thing? shit. <laughs> what? I know, right? All you need is the right controllers in there, and bam. I'm, I'm talking like chipset controllers, not, not controllers. No, I know what you mean. That's absolutely insane. Here, I'm going to pull up the picture for people on the stream. That's really cool, Martin. That's wow. fucking cool. 
Where'd you find that? Oh, what's up, Mini Omega? Oh, that's wrong. Is and that window capture. Okay. That's so cool. I've never seen that before. This totally is going to blow the minds of the people on oh, YouTube up, when they see it. How you doing, Socks? Socks. You Sir doing, Socks. Hello. Why not? There we go. Because I'm using my laptop mic. <laughs> Bam. Every time you stream, it sounds like you. I just the first thing I think of is like he's slapping his knee, like <laughs> off. That's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, gosh. Really? What's what's subreddit, Martin? Uh, obviously, probably gaming. That's no, sure. no, it's on um tech support gore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look like gore to me. <laughs> that's so no, that that's tech support porn. All yeah, this is. Much. All I see is just a sad, 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 wasted Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. It's actually really cool. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dude, that's so fucking cool. I get... That thing's so compact. I know. It's... Yeah, oh, I know gosh. exactly how big that is. That's not big. It's mind-blowing that, like, everything that, like, was done on the NES, like, fits in our phone and does it like 10 times better no problem here's my like, question it's amazing. Though. how does it it couldn't work though could it I, why not yeah i mean I, I don't i don't see the, a power source but other that's than what that. i'm saying a power <laughs> source or the actual like or for the component cables either yeah oh, the, oh yeah. yeah that's Maybe that on the back. if if anything they're probably on the top because you only need one um ac in and then one video out yeah yeah Let's see, hold on, hold on. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the Nintendo back then was mono as well, so there's only one audio cable. Yeah. I mean, you could get by with only mono anyway. That's but... just so fucking cool. If oh, they can gosh. fit that in there, then what was the point of that big box? Like, that big gray box? Well, they didn't have they the, didn't compact, the... the compact technologies back then. Yeah, that's true. Like, the, the same capacitor to hold the same amount. Like, nowadays, it's probably about that big. Back then, you're talking. I've been to that. <coughs> yep. Yeah, I know. I have been there, Martin. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Star just posted probably the coolest thing ever in chat. Yeah, I'm Whoa. pulling it up for the. It's functional. That's yeah. functional? I have yeah. seen that before. It's actually a really <laughs> easy thing to make because it's That's really so just cool. a. S it's literally just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inputs. Yeah. Yeah, there two buttons, start, select, and four directions. That's cool. There we go. We got it pulled up on the screen. That was Can't do good runs time. of Mega Man 2 on that table. <laughs> All they need to do is make one for, like, Guitar Hero. That way we can do through the fire and flames. Just each person gets one button. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I well, can imagine do, that. You just got to... Like that guitars. What'd you say? They do mods like that, like with actual real guitars. They did a few mods of like guitar That's pretty cool. And then there were the actual games that used actual guitars instead of guitar controllers. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, the PC port of the game. I can't remember the name of the game, but apparently, the PC port of the game did not work right. Really? Like Guitar like Hero. A, the one that uses an actual guitar. Uh, oh, Rocksmith. There you go. Yeah. Interesting. If, if you're ever interested in Rocksmith, get it on a console. Apparently there's something jinked with it on PC. Interesting. <coughs> well, that doesn't Excuse affect me. me, so... Oh, well. Anyway, I'm gonna... I have something to say about the Wii U thing, just because Go now I'm, I've gotten time to think about it. Um... Like... I don't know. It's just so... Uh, it's just such a weird thing, because it's like... Okay, they lost 92 million. I mean, that it's a lot, but to them it's... Probably not. Chomp change. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, I think that, like, I think it's kind of like an inaccurate number because it's kind of like assuming that, like, you know, when did, when did Mario Kart 8 get released in the spectrum of the last financial quarter? Because the sales are still going to carry over. Yeah, it's true. And as we said before, Smash Bros. is there. And then they have Hyrule Warriors, which yeah, is going to be, that's that's gonna be huge. a system seller. And Bayonetta 2 is actually probably actually going to be a seller. Yeah. And, and Mario 3DS, Maker, I think. Yeah, and 3DS is going to boom with um if for uh Ruby Sapphire remakes as yep, well. Yeah, that's true. 
There's so that many was people I did asking for those. For. So many people have asked for the remakes. I'm Ruby sorry, guys, but I'm on the Alpha Sapphire side of the fence. I'm yeah, I'm on Alpha Sapphire as well. What about you, what about you Joe? I don't have a 3DS. Well, you said you're gonna get Which a 3DS. Which side are you on? I said on, I though. would get one. But what side are you on? I was yeah. more of a Sapphire fan. So oh, okay. We're good, good. I was, I was gonna have to kick you off the, the stream, fan. otherwise. <laughs> MK was the re MK was the reason my other friend bought a Wii U as well, Slacker. So, yep. and honestly, the one oh Martin just wrote Omega Ruby represent. I think uh -huh. he has to do it. Purge him. <laughs> yep, purge him. Quick purge. <laughs> and purge. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> He's been purged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, that's awesome. You can take your ruby and you can get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, I'm with awesome. Alpha Sapphire. I'm kidding. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm with um, Alpha. One game I feel is so overlooked is the Mario Maker. It's the one where you make any Mario level that you want. Because like that's the that's the whole thing that's the whole game you have all the pixels the sprites and everything and all the enemies and you can make every level that you want, but the thing is one you can switch between the classic 1985 version and switch it back to the new Super Mario Brothers U version so you can switch between the two graphics whether you want the classic or you want the new style. But the thing that's going to be awesome is you're going to be able to upload the levels online so the Super Mario frustration that can be a real thing. Like Super that. Mario that was an old like N NES hack game. Someone uploaded a long time ago. But like, you can make those insanely hard levels. No, you can make those no really Cat fun, Mario? creative levels. No Cat, uh, Mario. Cat, Cat Mario. Cat Mario. I don't know Cat Mario. I'm pretty sure the Shinuki Mario's in there, but I don't know about Cat Mario. No, but like, please, Cat Mario, <laughs> worst and best game of my life. I know. Also, I, I hate to break it to chat. Jerk Rose a mod in here. Are you really? Huh. Not. He's not a mod. He's not a mod. <laughs> Why don't you refresh oh, and I find am. out? I am actually. Yeah, I was going to say. I was like the one who purged him. It was Jerkrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, you were talking about Cat Mario. Oh, I know. I remember I saw that power up. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. One, I was just like, they're turning out Mario games at this point. And two, they're doing a Cat Mario. They're just. You, you don't know, know oh, do you? God. And then I got the game. I was like, this is really fucking Jerkro, <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know what Cat Mario is. You don't know what Cat Mario is. Oh my gosh. You never played Cat Mario? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Now I know what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about the suit. Oh, Cat Mario. The one that's impossible to beat. Yeah, yes. the one on the browser game. <laughs> oh. What the hell are you talking about? I thought you were talking about the, the cat power up in the new Super Mario Brothers world. Oh, no. That's what I thought you were talking about. Yes, Cat Mario. Cat Mario is possible. <laughs> yes, that's what you're going for. Oh, yes. my gosh. That would be possible. Just absolutely impossible. I thought you were talking someone in chat doesn't know what it meant. Okay, now oh I'm on the same page. The mods here are literally jerks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, chat! Chat is good. amazing right now. I, I just had to throw that out there. Chat is amazing. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Uh, Clapa, really? <laughs> it's just for you, Clapa yeah, for yeah. Nos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know how much I love Kappa. I know. <laughs> but what about Kappa B? I can't stand Kappa. Fuck you, Jerko. <laughs> well, what about Kappa yes. V? Yes, Kappa. Did you ban Kappa yet? No, you didn't. I, uh, I haven't yet, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I think I just might do it. Because if I well, get like a raid or something in that. Time to get Turbo and make my own variant of Kappa. Yeah, you do that. I will ban <laughs> it. I'll find a way to ban it. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I've been timed out. Oh, no. <laughs> I just timed out Sanctus. Oh, goodness gracious. 66. Six, six, six. It's a sign. Jerkrow must be the devil. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> so I think Mario Maker is a system seller that's generally overlooked at yeah. this point. Although the fact that they've got capture kits, um, third-party capture kits available for the 2DS now, kind of makes me want to oh, buy a 2DS. Right. Yeah, I know. But Are they expensive, aren't they? Um. 
It's about a hundred dollars for the capture kit, and then the two huh. DS is in the ballpark of around a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, does it work for the two DS as well as the three DS? No, they're they're independent capture kits because they have to be a different uh, shape. Uh, that that makes sense. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. The site I was looking at was um, it had a two DS with the capture kit pre-installed for about two hundred and something. So you're paying for the console and the capture kit. And they're putting it together for you, because I I don't really want to throw holes into it. the own into the console. Kind of kind of bad things happen when you start drilling holes in DSs. Oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna work. Think I'm not even gonna do that. <laughs> I like get nervous when I wanted to like paint my Xbox controller. I didn't want to pull the thing apart for fear that I'm gonna never put it back together. Oh, that reminds me, um, Jade Star mentioned something in chat. They should make a 2DS. With a 3DS design, literally just remove the 3D and save dollars. But yeah. the thing is, there's already games moving away from 3D. Release recently, they released a um, One Piece game. It has no 3D in it whatsoever. Yeah. But the trade-off is the game looks um, stationary console quality. Really? Yeah. So apparently th there's a lot of power going into making it 3D capable, not even with the 3D off. So it makes me wonder, how good can they make the games look if you turn off the 3D? There you go, Slacker. So on Speed painted this for me. I haven't had the chance to hang it up. They painted this in like 90 seconds in front of me. Damn. Yeah, pretty fucking cool. <laughs> In New York City, right in Penn Station, right before we flew back, it came out pretty fucking cool. I'd say so. And yeah. It was Damn. <laughs> yeah. Holy yeah. Crap. I've I've got barren fucking walls. I've got barren walls. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to hang something up. I've been meaning to hang it up right there, but I got to get around to it. Um, the 3D for like 3DS, I don't really look for the whole like 3D effect, the thing that's coming out at you. The thing I look for on 3D, excuse me, the thing I'm looking for on 3D games to 3DS is that they use it for depth perception. That I think makes it more realistic than the fact that it's coming out at you. I just like it when they make the buildings. Like in um, Pokemon, they make um, that big city, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but like the massive city and they have all the buildings in the far distance in the background. That looks really cool. I wasn't looking for the shit that came out of me. I'm looking for the stuff that goes far back and looks, um, gives you a depth perception. I may have momentarily screwed up the cameras, but it's fixed again. Uh-oh. What'd you do? Merton Skyped me, okay. and I replied to him. Yep, yep. They were fucked up. <laughs> yep. I saw it. <laughs> no, 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 no better yet. You saw nothing. Yeah, I saw everything. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yeah, there was exactly. nothing to see. Please do, please do voice acting, scientists, please. <laughs> I, no one's offered me any roles if or I, anything. If I make an indie game, I'll or I'll I'll get you to voice it. <laughs> Implying I can never do anything with a game ever besides play it. Uh, aren't aren't you going to be going into collage for that stuff? I'm going into history for teaching. You want to be a history teacher? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Isn't, that, isn't that the same thing? Implying that yeah, game creators probably. don't need much training. <laughs> <laughs> implying, implying it's actually easy. Oh, that's why you were excited about when I told you I was taking the history class. Yeah, that's apparently, why I apparently, Jade has been sending Martin nudes all over the internet. The nudes were all over the internet. Thanks, Martin. The channel is going to get banned now. So I just don't share my nudes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Goodness gracious! I, I'm sorry, Martin. They saw can your you, nudes. Can you remove my um, plug? I don't want to be held accountable or connected oh, to oh, this sure, in any sure, way at all. Sure. <laughs> sure. Let me. So long, Let me hear that. You know what? Damage, damage is already done. Just throw it back up there. <laughs> damage is already there done. we go. There we go. You damage are no longer done. you are no longer part of the stream. <laughs> Just throw it back up. <laughs> Am I really? Did you cut me out? <laughs> <laughs> You're completely gone from the stream. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> There is no evidence yeah. of your existence. <laughs> Bye.
Oh, he's gone. We we lost Nos. <laughs> Nos was just in the back or had just playing a game. Nobody got to see it either. Nope. Nope. None. Not a person. Uh, okay. We all know why Jerkrow doesn't have any nodes. Those are the shower shorts. I was just thinking that he always got them shower shorts on. Them shower shorts. Oh, For the man who has nothing to hide, but chooses to do so anyway. Smith and Merton. <laughs> I love you too, Martin. In a platonic way. In a platonic way. That's Nos's uh, favorite word. Yes, platonic. Replace way. Nos with Merton. It just sounds so professional. And it is professional, but it just sounds professional. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So, do you guys want to talk about the Ocarina speedrun? Sure. I can talk about that. I have never seen an Ocarina of Time speedrun before. Oh my god. I know. I've, I've just the I've uninitiated. Never yeah, I know. I like. I don't. I don't even know if I follow Cosmo. I think I need to do that. But like, I've watched his streams on multiple occasions. But every time he does it, like he always ends up resetting within the first thirty seconds, usually. And I was just Nos. like, and Nos. I have what need is an understatement. No, I know. <laughs> I know I need to. <laughs> but it, it was just like, he resets every 30 seconds when I was there, and then I just didn't know any, I couldn't talk to anyone. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to back out slowly. So I never actually got to see a run by, of, by, uh, of his, and I was watching this video, and it was just fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, do even speed game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mini Omega just wrote, Nos, do you even speak game? game? No, I don't. <laughs> Not at all. I, I do one of them... Oh, gosh. I've never played a video game before, actually. There's a line that me and Shane came up with. It's called, um... No one is a speedrunner. They're a spedder uner. And I just typed it in chat. <laughs> That's what people are. They're spedder uners. <laughs> <laughs> Shane came up with that in Borderlands 2. <laughs> uh, are, are you a, a, a spider owner, Jokey right. Boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm definitely spider. one of those. Spider owners. Spider. Spider. <laughs> so, what did you think about it, Nas? This, considering that was like your first. I thought it was pretty fucking of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the definition of like breaking a game. I mean, like, you literally do nothing that it wants you to do. No, not at all. Like, it's just, it's it's the definition of breaking a game. Like, you do all the stupid shit. Like, you, there was the one, what is it? Like, he does the, um, he swipes the Deco stick at the wall, and it sends him backwards all the way into the town where he picks up the Kukos. And, like, oh, just the entire best. time, it's just sliding backwards, and he's not even doing anything. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Well, he, he, believe it or not, he actually is. It's like... He's doing something called a, like, I think it's a Wes, where he's um holding the controls again a very specific yeah. point on the game, and it's like it's weird because if he gets it like into a dead zone or like misses just a little bit, like it's it it's is, run dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's it's fucking crazy. And the thing where he did it again near the end using one of those um, one of those pieces of debris falling. Holy oh, crap! Oh yeah, for the Wes. Hit yeah. that. That move, that move right there to get in, down and into that loading zone, he has screwed that up so many times. I've watched better. I've watched run not better. I've watched runs that were looking to be that face die there. Ugh. I could never That's imagine rough. like being like so far ahead and then just doing one minuscule just ha like a second off being wrong and just the run being completely dead. That would suck. So bad. That, that's that's what your specialty is now, isn't it, Jericho? Yeah. With, with big. Pretty much. <laughs> is what resetting? Res just Do one small thing wrong, level. run over. <laughs> yep. One small. Oop. Oops. Game's bad. Run over. Sorry, I uh, just, uh, pulled on the string just a little bit too hard. Rope broke. End of run. I, I pulled the bait too early, and bug, uh, Froggy never bit. And pretty much. Asshole, Froggy. <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh god, I need to make a picture. I need to make a picture where it's just froggy and, and instead of any other subtext, just says asshole. <laughs> it's a simple little picture. Sorry. Based froggy. Yeah. 
Frog is just, I hate, uh, I don't know how the hell you do that run all the time because I hate RNG. Oh, it's know, one it's... thing if I screw something up, but when it's completely random and I have no control over it, that pisses me off. I That's why I hate Furnace Fun and I hate Mr. Vile. You don't play the RNGesus. Oh, I played RNGesus every time I call him that crocodile's like nose. Jesus doesn't smile on him at all. <laughs> no. Uh... Why do you... It's just like, it, that it's just it's so weird though like with the run like to put it in my perspective is like I, I how to describe it is like I can have perfect movement but as soon as I start the file it is already predetermined if I will even get past the first stage oh that sucks yeah if the RNG, like, as soon as I start, if the RNG is bad it doesn't matter how well I moved I could be a minute behind or or 20 seconds ahead oh, I will not sucks. catch it it's like it's bad it it gets it gets that's why I take breaks from it. That's why you see I do it a lot one day and then don't play it for like another week. When, yeah. when are you gonna hit five hundred followers so we can see you play through normally? I don't know. When am I gonna hit? 500? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, it, that's it, the whole thing. Okay. No, I need to rephrase that. It, it's not. It's no. Did I say if? No, I didn't when? say. If. It's when. It's not an if. Yeah. So about next week. Yeah, about, about next week. week. Yeah. yeah, sounds about right. 80 followers in two weeks, I can pull it. <laughs> two weeks, you could probably do it in like five days. All you need is one good raid and you'll be fine. One good raid. <laughs> I'm sorry, Apparently they want, to, they want me to punish you, Nos, for um, for not I having the wiggly string say, in frame. I was just going to say, I cropped him out because it's fine. I don't want you worrying about it. <laughs> put, put wiggly string. Okay. Wiggly string. I put wiggly string back or it should be back. We'll see. I've been timed out, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. My hands were down here playing with the mini screwdriver that no one knows of its existence yet. There's no oh, screwdriver. I've timed out for another ten minutes. Wonderful. Oh gosh. So ten my minutes, opinion, damn. Yeah, I got I got knocked out for ten. You minutes. really didn't like him hiding the wiggly string, did you? <laughs> Clapping, fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. when I watched this run... When I'm I sorry, this... Omega, I can't answer you in chat, because this asshole to the up up here just said you're not allowed to talk in chat, so sorry, you're not getting an answer. He's over there. Not so over I... there. He's over there, not over there. It's, it's up there? There Is you it, like, go. Flip-flopped? It's, um, it's yes, literally it capturing so you. Yep, so it's up there. I now realize. He's up in that corner. That asshole up there. Yeah, so Skype, I can't him. Skype forces it to um, mirror as if you were looking into a mirror instead of actually capturing the way you look. I don't know. That's retarded. <laughs> no, it's all yeah, weird. I don't I know. know. Now I know how retarded I look. I'm looking at it now. No, actually, you poured it off to the mythological fifth guest over here. I know. Nope, nobody knows he's over there. We don't. We don't really talk about him. <laughs> wiggly string, wiggly string so, adventures. This run was as a, okay as a speed runner. This was easily one of the best moments I've ever had. Like was watching this run. I have. This is easily 100% the best run I've ever seen in my entire life of any game. This is like this one, this one, and CJ's um, Gamma World Record are like two of the best runs I've ever seen in my entire life. Real quick, because... real quick, I I'm, I'm gonna let you finish, but I'm Nos, finish. they they want you to um, replace your webcam with just the wiggly string. <laughs> they they don't want Nos. They want more wiggly string. Wiggly string for president. 2018. <laughs> 2016. Okay. Oh, so, um, <laughs> you were saying CJ was the best speedrun you ever saw? Yes. Well, C CJ's uh, Gamma World Record and this run are the two best runs I've ever seen. Because in CJ's Gamma World Record, he says there's literally less than... He said there's two seconds of time save and all of it is human error. So basically, his run was not going to be beaten. Ever. Wow. Um, this run is much the same. This run is just... It was like one of the most emotional experiences I've ever seen on Twitch. 
Because, like, the way Cosmo reacted live, if you watch the live video... Yeah, as soon as, <laughs> I did as see that. As soon as he did it, you could just see, like, this look on his face that's just, like... It was just pure relief. It's like someone... It was, it was even before yeah. that. It was when he... Even when he first got to Ganon, oh my gosh, you could see his... He was all he was, pale and everything. It's like, holy he was, he was shit, sweating, is this actually... Pan is I this actually happening? Himself. Not like this up. is crazy, and I accidentally hit the mic. He was shaking, like it was, and I mean, like with good reason. But I mean, like I just watched it. Excuse me, and I was just like, "Come on, just do it." And then, like, I remember I was in a Skype chat with people, and we were just like, "Okay, come on, you just need the ISG twice." And when he got it, everyone just started freaking out. Like it was like, oh, fuck, I wish I was there. <laughs> It was amazing. It was just, uh, and like, but his face afterwards, it looked like just all this stress just melted off him. Like, that six, was know. it? No. Since 2006, he's been working on that game. So that's eight years of work. That's finally just. That's fucking crazy. Off his shoulders. It was like, what, it, it, yeah. was, it was 1810 was the final time, right? 1810. And that was yeah. like, it was like 20 seconds ahead of his previous PV. Yeah, before. wasn't he trying to go for like an 1820? Yeah, he was trying to go for an 1820. That's when he got the 1810, and everyone was just like... Yeah, he it. was just like, he's like, he was like, I was, I'm just going to go for the 1820, then I'm going to, you know, just take a step back for this game, and here he goes, he gets a fucking 1810. He gets no, 20 he seconds. Yeah. Unless, unless there's some back. other oh. random-ass breakthrough, that's it. A grain of time is done yeah, for that much, category. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. That category yeah, that's, that's is it. done. There's until no... someone until someone finds something new, if there is anything, that category is it's dead. There is no <laughs> more any percent. It's done. That's There's actually, no reason. That's so run. crazy. That's just like a game Run's that's been, like trying that's been like sped run for like eight years and constantly finding new things. Like I don't know too much about like Zelda. Or Link, I didn't. I didn't complete the game. I was. I started it, but I never finished it. But I'm wondering, like, what is there really much more that could be done? Like a, a new skip that can cut anything else out of the way, that it can really make that much of a difference at this point. A skip to the end credits was something he mentioned. Like, if there's any way to um skip to the end credits, yeah. There you go. Well, the, there is a skip to the end credits, and it's called Ganonless. So, so that's a completely different category. That's a different yeah. category because in any percent you have to beat the game, I guess, in oh. some form or fashion. I well, guess. he did. I don't know. He did mention he was interested in Ganonless. But yeah, like, he did mention it at this or, point. Um, like, was it like all dungeons or something? All dungeons is the other one he mentioned. But he said he wouldn't take Ganonless. He said he wouldn't take them like near as seriously. Oh, of course. This one. Of course. There's oh, that's like pretty much how everyone says like you know like Stiv says like he he's looking for different games he might want to try to get into but he's like I will never find a game I get into as much as Banjo. That's just usually how people are when they get like this he's, crazy with a game. I mean, he's doing two E right now. Well, that's his that's Stiv's thing that he likes right now. His Banjo. Yeah, it's just, that's his fun thing to do. But he always said he's like there will never be another game where I get into and you know try and do as much and try to optimize as much as I did. Kazooie. I I know that Cosmo is currently working on routing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Too. Yeah, yeah, he does. He doesn't he have world yeah. record on that too. He has world record on Castlevania sixty four carry. Yeah, and that runs pretty good too. Yeah. I'm trying to think, what, do you think there? I need to look this up. This is more something I just need to look up. Does anyone speed run Dynasty Warriors? <laughs> Dynasty Warriors. I don't know. Probably, dude. Every game is. I watched a speedrun the other day of Putt Putt Saves the Zoo. Oh god, I, I remember that game. God, what is so it? Like little. Ninety seconds, two minutes. No, the world record is fifty some seconds. <laughs> I remember that game. <laughs> oh, he must be spamming the hell out of the esque button. He's, yeah, he's, he's skipping everything. Just click, click, click. It's like it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. I it drives me insane. I was like, I'm like, what? That's hilarious. I remember I saw this one. There's this one game. I, it's like I don't know how to pronounce. It. I don't know if it's V V V V V V V or seven V or something. But like, it's a game where this one guy had been optimizing so much, and then he was just like, okay, this is the last time I'm running this. I'm done. And then out of the blue, he just did a run of this game. And he found a new game, uh, a new glitch that literally completed the entire game in like something like 
54 seconds, but it was like the time before that was like 11 minutes. Jeez. Like he just Damn. out of nowhere came and just like dropped it down and he just like by doing like a, um, what is it? Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like a save state is like preloaded. And when oh, you is it quick clip? Was it? Quick clipping? Um, no, it's just like something is uh, some kind of uh, cutscene or interaction to save someone in the game. When you talk to a character, it triggers the oh. end game. Something like that. But like he discovered it and just out of nowhere, he's like, okay, now I'm done. Like it's just absurd that people can find these glitches and literally complete these, you know, nine hour games in 54 fucking seconds. Well, I mean, quick clipping is like the PC game speedrun for FPS, for not, well, for anything first person, like. As I know, um, Oblivion, like the Elder Scrolls Ob Oblivion, the world record for that game, any percent with quick clips is less than four minutes. You think I can come back in? Mm, I don't know. See, You'll have to put it to a vote to the chat. Yeah. The chat will determine your fate. We'll see how that goes. Oh, so uh, Mini Omega, I think, knows what I'm talking about. It can only be done on the Windows version of the game. I don't know. Um, I don't know at all too much. It just came across. I came across when I was just doing some random... Um, speed running searches on a binge and came across that. Can't do diddly jack on a Mac. Jerk I mean... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> For all you guys' information, Jerk has a Mac somewhere over there. I don't know which uh, computer he is. I know you also have a Windows computer like you're in bulk, I think. No, I'm using the Mac right now, actually, so. Oh. Well, I know Skype's so. compatible with Mac, so there you go. Glitch percent. How is green three seconds? Um, that's not, that's three minutes. That's oh. in game time. Oh, I they, thought that's... They usually use in game time for Pokemon. Okay. Oh, really? How the fuck do you do that? Yeah, they don't really uh, go by the is seconds. That's, 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 oh my god. Yep. There, there's no seconds used in the Pokemon games. Yeah, Mainly sure. because there's a internal timer on the game already. Yeah, you, when she, I think it's what once you beat the elite four, it shows you your time and the champion thing. That but it only shows hours crazy. and minutes. Yeah, that must be pretty crazy then for people trying to like you know break records like because then like if it say for example you know the world record is you know four hours twenty two minutes and thirty seconds on the button like that's that's gonna be hard as shit to like break it if you just happen to get lucky and finish it 30 seconds like that'd be like an untouchable kind of thing you know what i mean that must be kind of infuriating for people running pokemon well the thing is they do think. they do still have a split system for red oh okay and they usually like if you watch a um a replay of it you'll you'll get to see all the splits and you'll get to see their end time and then you'll get to see the actual time for the champion thing and there's usually like maybe about a minute discrepancy at the end yeah Sure. But that's yeah, about all there is. Versus. They use, I think they use in-game time for their official timing. Probably. Yeah. But they are, but they do RTA for like comparisons, I guess, or something like that. Yeah, Portal and Half Life. Uh, Half Life Two runs are really good, especially like with the bopping for warping. <laughs> I've never played any Half Life game. I haven't either, but the speed runs are fun. Are they? The only like shooter game that I'm interested in for watching speed runs is Halo. That's the only speedrun game that's interesting to me. Never Dude, there's had a, an Xbox. There's Never a spot on um, Halo 3 where I know a spot where you can just simply walk out of the map. Really? You just like fly campaign? Up, you f yes, on the campaign. You can do it on um, co-op as well. But you just fly up to a certain point and you literally just walk out of the map. Like they didn't. That. They didn't actually foresee people going that way. Yeah. And in um, Halo Collection, they made a point to announce that they're leaving in yeah, all of the glitches. All glitches. Yep. Yep. Keep it as that's true of experience awesome. as possible. That's so awesome, too. That That's good for the speedrunning community as well, because that means there's not yeah. a discrepancy as far as um, glitches well, in. Hopefully. We're not 100% sure yet. Well, yeah. the thing is, what they said is they're literally using the exact same game coding... Oh, and just right. upping the resolution the graphics. and yeah, that's graphics right. and textures. The cutscenes have been remastered, so those might yeah. be a different length. But that's you know, about that, the only thing that might really change matter. things. <laughs> well, if you're speed running, um, I think uh, that well, would I matter mean, a little bit. Like, if there's any cutscenes you, you can't skip. Oh. Uh, but if you can't skip a cutscene, that wouldn't matter because it's the exact same thing every time. I mean, it's just like it sucks. It's like, um, 
if you're adding longer cutscene compared to the first game, that sucks. You got to sit there an extra minute. Well, it could be it could be longer or minute. shorter. I don't know. It could be either way. I'm just saying it will it will provide a discrepancy between the two versions of the game. Oh yeah. Oh, that's just talking about. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Now I know what you're talking like, about. Like uh, if if that if they're the same length, then it, oh, and, they would um, have to create a different sit category. Yeah. Oh, now I now I follow you. It'd probably be easier on everyone just to have it as a single category, but yeah, I know. But I'm just it, really happy that Halo Two multiplayer is going to be back with it. I'm very excited because I never played Halo Two multiplayer. Oh my gosh, it was amazing at the time. I played Halo Three, but I did not play Halo Two multiplayer. And Halo One didn't have online multiplayer, so it's gonna be the first time we're gonna be able to do that, which should be interesting. Halo Two, its multiplayer was basically like the Xbox Three Sixty friend system. Like you had a whole friend system on the original Xbox. You could create lobbies, all that stuff. Yeah. Bring in your friends, set the rules, all that stuff. And yeah. that's also where um zombies originated on Halo. Is Halo Two. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. It was a um it was just a variant of Team Deathmatch at that's the time. That's awesome. That's what oh. I love about Halo is that the Forge you had so much control over customization. There was it's no literally... Forge in Halo Two. I'm talking about Halo Three. Yeah. Um, like that. That's what I loved about Halo, though, is that you had so much customization to it that you could literally have different, completely different games in the Halo games. Like you have like the soccer, and then you have like I remember on uh, the one Forge level where it was just like a massive uh, like building staircase that went up further, and there were windows occasionally. And there was one person who was spawned. They would get a sniper, and they had to pick off one person one by one. But everyone ran fast. You just had to try to pick them off as they ran by the little open window. It was so much fun. And oh, the only reason they could have a, that. There's a variant you've of never played. Exactly. You've never played Super Zombie. Super Zombie. I don't know. Jerko is just like, I've never played Halo. I'm so lost in this conversation. <laughs> I never had an Xbox, so I never uh, would have played Halo. I, n- I didn't have Xbox. My friends are PlayStation guys, so. Yeah, I'm more of a 360 person. I have a Super- PS3 sitting right in front of me, actually. Super <laughs> Zombie right is a variant of my own. <laughs> really? You will never find Super Zombie, because it required a modded Xbox console. Really? Which I had. What did it do? That was required mods i changed my run speed way up Uh-oh. increased my lunge distance really? by over twice the amount that's awesome my jump height was up was up to tenfold you know how oh, during the air you can kind of nudge yourself in different directions yeah. i had full control over that as really? if i was on ground that's insane and it would be me Versus, it, basically, this game variant worked beautifully on completely full lobbies. Yeah. And it was the entire other team versus Trying me, the you. super yeah. zombie. That's awesome. And my goal was to convert them all to the infected. That's awesome. That sounds really fucking fun. Is that even it legal? was. Oh, no, that is not. <laughs> and they, they, I would give them fun. more... They, they, um, they would have pistols for them to use as the human. Basically, you, everyone carried around a pistol and a sword. But the zombies were only allowed to use the sword, which they were yeah. green team. The humans, which were red team, were only allowed to use the pistol. Yeah. And a lot of the time, the zombies would um, literally just go off somewhere and empty all the ammo in their pistol before charging in. Just so that the the humans don't get a refill of ammo when they kill the zombie. Oh, that's so dangerous. Because <laughs> if you kill the zombie, you got a refill of ammo out of it. Yeah. Which was very, very useful. So they just empty out their clip and that'd be it. Or that, empty that's... out everything. Yeah. I know, but that's the kind of thinking that like eventually brought on like like Halo Two like I didn't play it, but I know how much Halo Two did for like online gaming, basically. It was Yeah, it was it's like it yeah. I can't <laughs> it was what made it changed the world of gaming. gaming. Yeah. I had it's another like, variant that was did you? Crazy beyond belief. Have you ever been in a modded Halo 2 lobby, Nos? No. I've never played Halo 2 online. Oh. Have you ever used the Scarab Gun from Campaign? Yes. Okay. Think that kind of weapon that's obnoxiously overpowered. Yeah. Except every weapon. 
that's had awesome. some overpowered <laughs> aspect about it. That sounds awesome. And that's what the normal players got to use. Because I was host, my God, variables for the guns were applying to all the players. Yeah. And they were getting to shoot wraith mortars out of a machine gun. Yeah, that's awesome. You've got the pistol shooting rockets. That's awesome. The shotgun would fire a a barrage of multiple sniper rounds. Damn. With the contrail still intact, so you just see a cone of death come out of it. That's awesome. The uh, I'm trying to remember what I did with the assault rifle. The battle rifle, I think. I think I gave it sniper rounds too, because I could never decide what I wanted to give that thing. Yeah. Um. The. Yeah. Good job. The brute shot. Oh god, that thing was oh, crazy. Brute shot. It would spew out about ten sticky grenades in all oh, directions gotcha. and almost oh, always kill the user. Really? That's hilarious. <laughs> the um the sentinel beam, I kinda did as a joke. Oh okay. I replaced its beam with <laughs> with the melee of the sword so <laughs> you Literally firing a beam. You got. You can see the visual beam, but it's doing nothing. Oh. You have to go up to someone just to that kill sucks. with it. It, it wasn't meant to accomplish sucks. anything. Oh, that's hilarious. But there was a reason I gave all the players these guns because they were they were fighting me. And you but I wasn't. Them, didn't you? Um. Actually, the um scarab beam. Isn't actually in the map data for the multiplayer levels. Really? Yeah, the scare really? the scare beam isn't in there. Interesting. The um, wraith good. mortar in rapid succession is a a great replacement for the scare gun, and I would always put the wraith mortars on oh, the okay. plasma rifle. But um, they were fighting me in a in a flying tank, <laughs> flying. just literally flying around. That's awesome. And I was 99... Oh, wait for him to get back real quick. Sorry. In that tank, I was 99.9% .9 invincible. That's insane. But it wasn't 100%. And of course, with everyone shooting at you, that probably I would, was I, very possible to kill you. It was very possible, but it was extremely situational. Yeah. They'd be hitting me, I'd just be getting bounced around the air because of it. That sounds like so much fun. But. Is that a fly? My tank cannon had unlimited ammo, was fully automatic, like you're using an assault rifle. It's like. Yeah, I and I could just that. strafe the map with it. And my right click was the machine gun. Well, no, it wasn't right click. It was left. It was the other trigger. This was on console. It was a machine gun with the fire rate quadrupled, and it had auto aim for heads. Jesus Christ, that's insane. And I, I would almost never use the machine gun because that that was more just a um, a um, just a tool to clean up when people are getting like. Just getting yeah. mouthy with each other, just being general asses to each other, and then yeah. you guys are being asses to each other. None of you get to spawn now until you reconcile. Yeah. <laughs> and I would just sit, I would just hover there in the middle of the map, and you just see bullets going every direction off of my tank, killing everyone until they that reconcile. Awesome. It's like, you say sorry to each other, and then we'll continue. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Uh, um, yes, Jade. The other people were okay with this. The modders on Halo Two, can, since we couldn't go into matchmaking, they already had measures in place to prevent modders at matchmaking, so you sure. could only go to custom games. So generally, all the modders in Halo Two were basically revered, and people would flock to you because yeah, the game the variants were so crazy. Yeah, like there was a. There was a one that's a real common thing to do. It's take the plasma pistol, and instead of firing a bullet, um, it fires out one of those plasma shield walls. Oh, interesting. And depending on how what direction you would fire, it would either it would either clip it to to the X axis 
um, Y, or Z, and you can okay. effectively make a whole bridge of platforms. <laughs> And there were people that would build obstacle courses where stretches cool. of it, you had to build part of the course to get through. That's awesome. And like on Halo 3, how custom Which maps would have skulls and flagpoles yeah. and all that on the map, we could do that too. That's where the technology came from to edit the maps to do that. Came from Halo 2. I wouldn't be surprised um, if that stuff came from Halo 1. Yeah. Um... What was I going to say? Do you guys Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> no, that's yeah. alright. That's okay. A, a natural discussion is fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, next okay. generation? Next generation? Oh, yeah. Or no, oh, let's, do you want to end on that? And we'll do the Sony, or do you, Sony EA first? Sure. That I works think we should too. Do that. Sony doesn't care for EA. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> EA's access program is like a Netflix style subscription service for their games, and it also yeah. provides a discount like 10% discount for their games if you buy them. And Sony thought it was a crappy idea and didn't yeah. go along for the ride. I think their prices are outrageous on there. Because it's like... It's um, AI's, AI's had a good idea. Right now, the, be the, the service's beta only has FIFA 14, Madden NFL 25, Peggle 2, and Battlefield 4. That's not a very big lineup. It's not a huge lineup, but it's a beta. But those the thing are, is, you don't own any of those games. That's the thing. It's one. It's a beta. Two is on the new generation, which has only been out for just over a year, and that's honestly a pretty good amount of games for after one year, like the five, four or five games, and they're most like half of them are AAA, you know, Battlefield and FIFA and everything like that. So I think as of right now, it's not a wonderful idea, but I think in the future it could. Well, the totally thing is, EA Access isn't just for the consoles. I was seeing it on um, Origin for PC. Oh, really? Yeah, so in theory, you should have their entire PC catalog for that. But yeah. you don't. And in the case of, like, Battlefield 4, where there's all that extra content, you still have to pay for the extra content. The DLC and everything? Yep. And really? you don't actually own the base game. So if your subscription goes up... Well, that's all your DLC is basically purchasing. dead in the water. Yeah, that's you just could, a You could own all the DLC it. and not be able to use it. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah, I do agree Peggle is a pretty good game, Jade. <laughs> Peggle is a good game. Things. I've never actually played it. I have always see it looks addicting as hell, but I never actually played it. Whoops. Think like um, single-player Pong with more interesting shapes. Yeah. No, I know. I've seen I've seen the gameplay. It looks really fun. I just never actually got around to trying it out. Basically, as I see it right now, the beta phase looks good right now, but not nearly interesting enough for me to want to pay for it. Um, I'd have to wait probably another like two years before I think about it when they have a big enough catalog where they can do that kind of stuff where they can offer me games I'm actually going to consistently play and that garners the $5 because I pay for the live already. I pay for the online. If I'm going to pay an extra subscription fee, I better have a decent catalog of games I want to play. Yeah, and the thing and with um, in Sony's case... That, or go ahead. No, therein lies the issue, though, because they're not going to get people until they have more games, but yeah, why would they get more games until they get more people? It's like... I know. It's... And even right, further well. from that, those a lot of those EA games that they've mentioned for EA Access are already on there for, like, PlayStation Now. Yeah. And they've yeah. already got a method to rent them, which yeah. is pretty synonymous with the Netflix style. It's Yeah, you can just kinda. play the game as long as you subscribe to it. Yeah, so it's, First. it's utterly redundant for me. Yeah. It's just EA doing EA stuff. <laughs> It's EA being EA. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the explanation in itself. <laughs> yeah. I love EA's games. I love some of the stuff that they put out. I love EA Sports is a great, you know... They made Mirror song. Edge, right? And then they fucked up Mass Effect 3 because they rushed them. It's like, you have to meet this timetable. We've already announced the release date. you got to finish the game. Yeah, I know. I hate when shit like that happens. They're yeah. the ones who made, uh, EA made, uh, Mirror's Edge, right? Yeah. Uh, I that think was so. 
that was a fun. Or they game. at least Gears published Edge, it. That's the, that's the park. That's the parkour game, right? Yeah, this, yeah. Parkour, that parkour. was fun. Shit, that game was fun. Yeah, but now they're doing Mirror's Edge two, and they said it's going to be much more action based. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Kind of like no point. That. There's no point. Yeah. So I thought that I thought it was a cool part of it was that it was stealth based. It was cool. Well, it wasn't yeah. even stealth based. It was just running by everyone. Yeah. It's well, no. Yeah, there was stealth and stuff. Screw this noise! They're shooting me. Exactly. And apparently that's going to be gone now because they're going to give you a rocket launcher every level. <laughs> yep, leave it to EA to give you a rocket if launcher. If you want every to level. pay for it, though, you can buy oh, a yeah. rocket launcher each level. If if you um if you pre-order, we'll give you the um the um rocket launcher DLC that we originally coded in the game but took uh, but locked it off. DLC so yeah, give us money months. early. We haven't even get, I, we haven't released the game. I can't stand DLC. That's why I don't pre-order either. Oh, I don't know pre-order either. I let's see. I think I pre I'll pre-order for Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, because that's already a proven game. That's the thing. Well, Nintendo Nintendo yeah, they, doesn't tend to do this stuff as yeah, much often like as yeah. PlayStation. Xbox, yeah, they are PlayStation uh, Xbox. Yeah. But at the same time, I want to ask this: Would you guys be okay if Smash Brothers had DLC new characters somewhere down the line? Hmm. It depends like if they're going to charge an arm and a leg for him. Yeah, I know. Like, if it's and, like... Yeah, it really does. If it's like, oh, here's a new character, it's like two bucks and fifty cents forever. It's fairly reasonable, because they had to code in a new character given an entire moveset. Yeah. A five... It's, it's like, yeah, but you know it wouldn't be that. It'd be like five dollars or something. And it'd be like, okay. Um, yeah, I know. And, and, and here's, a th- here's the thing, though. I think it'd be rough... I think that would be more of a fan service to the casual gamers. Because I don't see characters. I think so. Because I think like more like the competitive guys would just not even bother with it. Cause they just, yeah, you know, they already have their guys else. down pat. Or like yeah, if they something. like if they released um, free characters at any point, that would theoretically increase the value of the game. It possibly yeah. drive up sales. Like, yeah, we just yeah, we just released point. another character. It's like we we brought back um. Marth. Here's Banjo Kazooie. Uh, Ike. Us. What? Oh, Ike is in. Ike's in. Ike and Marth, basically yeah. the same thing. No, they're not at all. They play completely different. <laughs> not even remotely close. I'm kidding. I know. Um, but like, oh, here's Banjo Kazooie as a character. Like, take my money. <laughs> oh, that'd be weird. If like their their down B move was you you got Banjo and Kazooie and they separate and oper- like, oh, operate like operate like ice climbers, that would be badass. As fuck. Holy shit! Because they already brought the separation mechanic in on Banjo Tooie. Yeah, Banjo Tooie. Yep. Just imagine if they brought Banjo Kazooie into Smash and had basically two move sets where you've got them separated and together. I didn't want to think about that because it's never gonna happen. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for Knuckles. Yeah, I know. Knuckles. You mean Knuckles? Yeah, Knuckles. Knuckles. Captain Knuckles. Captain Knuckles. Captain, Captain Knuckles. I'm wait. I'm waiting for it though. It'll never happen. But it's just he would be such a perfect character for the game. Yeah, he would be perfect. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. You, you know who I, know, I would like? Who? <laughs> Bomberman. Bomberman. Ba- ba- Bomberman. That's a that's a name I have not heard in a while. I know. I think Bomberman would be perfect for Smash Brothers. No Bomberman like, with a G. The oh, old man. one, Bomberman. The one like the Nintendo 64 Bomberman. Okay, because like they rebooted oh. the series and made him like actually like an adult. Edgy. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh my Second god, attack. we pretend it's a disaster. Doesn't exist. We pretend it doesn't second exist. Second attack. Oh my gosh, Eight Bomberman man 64 Smash second World. attack. That's the best game ever. Oh, Please tell me you guys I... have played at least second attack. I. Probably have. Bless you. It was you. the basically the sequel to Bomberman 64. Like it's a direct sequel. Oh, yes, it has um same yep, main then character then. and has one of the same side characters as well. Yep. Then I did. I need my I need, favorite one I is uh, Bomberman Heroes. Sometime. My favorite Bomberman hero. Bomberman Heroes. Damn. I I, I did enjoy that game, but that game felt weird to me. Like it felt out of place compared to the other two. Oh yeah, it was different, but I liked it. 
Like, didn't it come out in this order? Bomberman 64, Bomberman Heroes, and then the second attack? I don't know the chronological order. You know, let me pull it up. Yeah, please do that. Because I'm, that I'm, actually... I'm pretty sure Heroes came out after 64. And then they had Second Attack, which was a sequel. It's like, well, what? if it's a sequel, it should come out second. No, but I mean it came out third. Oh, I see that's, what you mean. Like that's they had the a game in between the direct sequel? That yeah. happens. That oh, really messes with you when they do it like that. Yeah, it okay. does. It, does. It, might, it might be possible that Heroes came out before. They had Bomberman 64, then Bomberman Hero, then 64 the second attack. Damn. Yeah. That is weird. I'm trying to think. I know there's games that have done that before. Oh, it's kind of like uh, how they did, what is it, Ruby Sapphire, then they did Fire Red Leaf Green, then they did Diamond. Well, it's. I guess it's not a sequel, it's a remake. But... Yeah, that's 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 more, more or less still the same series. That's the thing. Heroes feels like a different game. That's the thing. It's a good game, really but like it feels... Heroes. It's... Heroes, I think, had had one song in there, Fatidic, which is hands down the best um, video game song I've ever heard. Like, song that it was in a video game, is that's hands down my favorite. I'll have to hear I that love sometime. It. Fatidic, it's just like, it just sounds like a frosty beat. That's the best way to describe it. Frosty beats? A frosty beat. It's just incredible. Uh, are, are you hip now? Yes, I'm not a hipster, but it's just the best way to describe it. Because it's like, it kind of sounds like a snowy level, but like the best way to describe it is just uh, frosty. I don't know why. <laughs> frosty? Yeah. Nah, it's not cool. Get with the times, man. It's frosty. Yeah. Jerko, uh, are you quoting Mac Miller? I, 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 I'm no <laughs> hipster, but I can make your hipster. <laughs> Oh gosh. Hey. I do like that song. That's a good song. I do too. Gosh, so here here we have a nice and clean podcast, and then Jerkrow's thinking with his shower shorts again. <laughs> gosh, <laughs> keep it in your shower shorts, man. <laughs> so final final words. EA access. Don't like it? I think it's a good idea we'll have to see in the future. It's just as of right now it's 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 a new service. It's just not gonna work right now. It seems like it's a money grabbing attempt to me. I think, given enough time, it'll work out pretty well. What Still, yeah, though. <laughs> yeah, I no, I know that. I agree with. I don't love it currently. It doesn't mean I couldn't love it in the future. But then again, it doesn't matter because I'm a PlayStation person, so yeah, we already true. have PlayStation now. Exactly. Well, you almost had EA access on on PlayStation. We it was pitched did. to them. It I was wonder if, to like, them. if it ever takes off and it gets really good. I wonder if PlayStation is going to be like, oh, you know what? We just we we made a mistake. <laughs> It's like, yeah. we, we're, we don't think that at this time it's right for us. We never said it was a bad the... idea, just not right for us right now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to leave the door cracked for you, but exactly. please don't come in. Yeah. <laughs> Until we call for you. <laughs> yeah, please. You get super we'll, don't streamer. call us, we'll call you. Here's some old magazines. Please sit in the waiting room for a few months. Yeah, exactly. Years. <laughs> never. Years. Yeah, Martin, my stream is all... Jerko stream is very dirty. Mine is clean, family-friendly. Don't got to worry about none of that stuff. Just don't invite Merton into Skype with you, because the first line will be, What's up, you fucking fuckers? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Th this, this is on stream, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on stream in my 12-hour. That was during Pokemon. Exactly, Martin. I agree. It's part of that, too. It's just they have a bad track record, so... Um, it could be a good idea. It's just based for the, on the for those of you uh, watching this on YouTube, Martin Purse said in the stream chat oh, yes. regarding EA, it is a good idea. It's just that the track record of EA, which raises doubts. Like if Nintendo was going to do something like that, I'd be freaking out. Yeah, um, pretty much. EA just has a bad track record with just being fucking stupid. So this kind of looks like, uh, I mean, with their Nos, say yes, say yes, Nos. Just say yes. Yes, many, yes, many you can. Um, <laughs> I, I know, I know what I was saying yesterday. Um, they, they're just the pay-to-play situation. That money look, and uh, EA just looks like they're always trying to grab money. This doesn't look like uh, them trying to do something. It looks like they're trying to just cash in. But we don't really know right now. This could be 
them taking the first step in what a lot of other game developers and companies are going to be doing, and they're doing it first. But we don't know right now because it's still in the beta phase. I would laugh if the reason Sony turned it down was because EA Access tried to use the PlayStation Now server servers to uh, to facilitate it. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, let's let's yeah. do a, a PlayStation Now, and um, yeah, uh, that could be part let's of the choose reason. your servers. That could That's be part it. of the reason why they turned it down. That doesn't sound like something completely unreasonable. Yeah, <laughs> Charizard, welcome to the stream. Oh, Charizard, Charizard. What's up, Charizard? How you doing, man? A.K.A. Mellow Sips. Okay, so now what's the last thing we got on the uh, This next generation, or this generation yes. is the last one, I guess. Yes. Um, a lot of play, uh, I remember about a year or two ago, I saw a lot of articles, people's claiming that, you know, this generation, the one that we're in right now with the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and I think the Wii U is considered that new generation The Wii U is well. considered okay. new generation. Although it's the um, only one still on power PC. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. A lot of the people were saying that this is going to be the last console generation, that everything after this is going to be streaming only. So that, again, going back to EA doing something new for the first time, they could be the ones doing this. It could um, be the first ones going straight to streaming. I mean, for all we know, and what... Uh, That's tankish... actually not true. There's actually been several services out there that have done game streaming already. They just Which commercially th failed. There was one I can't can't remember what it's called, but I remember its logo. It's like an orange thingy, but it was literally just Gamefly? a. It wasn't GameFly, but it was literally just a tiny little box with a video out to your TV, and you need like a internet connection to it, and you would, you could try out a game for like thirty minutes, and then decide whether you want to buy it to play it. And it was pretty nice, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, let's see. Game streaming service. Um, on live. It was on live. Yep, on Jade, live. Jade not. It was, a, it was on live, yeah. Huh. It was I literally just a it. tiny little thing. plugs into your computer, and it, or it plugs into your TV, and you're literally streaming the game from their servers. This has already been done. And apparently, their... According to the site, they're still around. It's just that they don't... Took a step back? Yeah, Martin, well, there, is, there is latency issues with the game, but um, yeah. from what they were testing with on PlayStation Now and with OnLive, that's been going around for a while, they, they have worked out the latency problems pretty well. Like, it's pretty much down to just what your, your baseline latency is. On Live failed because it didn't really have any form of advertisement with it. Yeah, like they, they, their advertising campaigns failed. They just yeah. they just couldn't generate the revenue to keep the service going properly. Would and, it be fair to say that this is like the first, like even though it's not the first streaming game thing, it'd be the first one that's done by like a major company? Yeah. Well, the thing yeah, is, that On Live had a bunch of them. Um, games go with it like they've got like i can see arkham asylum saints row 4 really? chaos on deponia um I mean, i've never even of them heard of this thing up. so i shows how well they did on advertising yeah seriously yeah. they, but I'm they wondering, were just like, really bad with it with this situation like for example what ea is doing right now they're doing their games is it possible in the future that maybe like all game developer companies and everything like that instead of going on purchasing a console you just purchase their little clip that you plug into their tv and then you can play that publisher's games yeah and so then like, maybe what if ea is the first one to be trying it now we'll have less of we'll have less specific game consoles and more of company like exactly it's like an ea box uh you know, you know, you know what's going to be really, really good for gaming is the commercialization of quantum computers. Once we get commercially viable quantum computers, there's going to be no, there's going to be no differentiation between the CPU and the graphics card anymore. Okay, what's a what's a quantum computer? Yeah, let's uh, to the you know to the viewers or the YouTube. Yeah, that's, that'd stuff probably be a good understand. idea for me yeah. to explain that. Yeah, yeah for them. <laughs> a normal computer um, can read a bit in one of two states, on or off, one or zero. Yeah. Binary. A quantum computer can read in multiple states 
at once. It's an entirely different theory. You're you're talking multiple states at once, and you're it can happily do like um, say you want to. Either a computer does this thing or this thing. A quantum computer will do this thing and this thing. And happily do some other stuff, too. And it'll yeah. all do it at the same time, because it works off of the basis that a, um, a single molecule isn't in a, in a given state until it's observed. And that's a bunch of other stuff no, like I that. Know. But I, I, actually, I actually do have heard of that. It's fucking crazy. A quantum computer can break um, mathematical-based encryption in seconds where a normal computer would take thousands of thousands of years to accomplish the same thing. Like, that's how much of a leap in the just the basis behind it is. And what a GPU is for a graphics card, it's literally a processor that has been optimized for mathematical equations. Because it has to render all those different polygons using mathematics. Yeah. So you get a computer that does mathematics really, 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 really well. And they can do um, binary functions as well. There's no need to differentiate. Yeah. We're eventually going to hit a threshold where you simply buy a quantum computer. You don't worry about the stats because... You'd yeah. already be at a point where it'd be like... To upgrade would be pointless. Yeah, it's just... Eventually it's going to get to a point where it's just going to break any threshold. Yeah. What do you think about what Charizard said? Charizard yeah. said, quote, However, quantum computers are really only applicable for solving crazy math problems. For the size of the quantum computers, uh, it won't be any stronger than a normal computer from a user standpoint, end quote. Well, that's the thing. A lot of programs and stuff use mathematics to initiate their stuff. Like compression. It uses, um, I think that uses mathematical algorithms. That's one thing right there. At this point, is this known or is this just theory since we don't have one? Oh, we have quantum computers already. I'm saying we don't. Like, um, there are, there are military quantum computers already. You and me, you and me. We don't have yeah. standard computers. consumer doesn't have this. Would that be vi is, I'm we no standard consumer. How dare you, Reggie? He's deflecting. He's <laughs> deflecting. He knows we got him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but that's the main thing. Is it's gonna the quantum computers will render GPU as pointless. Okay. That's the main thing right there. All right. Um, I actually want to talk about what. Uh, Martin, yeah, and he said indie studios would have to suck big publishers blank to get to use their servers, and oh, and that would you be can the say it. That, you can know, say it. Suck big fat dicks of these publishers to use their servers, and that's actually, I would that be true or not? Because I mean, we have the situation with Steam that's just filled with indie games, and it's been shown that it does work very well. That they have this huge catalog of stuff. I'm sure at the beginning it wouldn't be that easy, but wouldn't that eventually in the end work out in the same situation that Steam would, where we'd have, you know, the different publishers posting not only their AAA games, but just a multitude of different st of uh, indie games. I, I, think I could definitely yeah. see that happening. And I actually think that would also be a really good idea, if a uh, good idea. I think it would be a good thing if, you know, 15 years down the line, we have, like, you know, EA has their own streaming software, and Act well, Activision's gone, but, like, you know, Naughty Dog has their own streaming so software and everything, because if they have, instead of purchasing one of two or three different consoles, you have different streaming softwares and subscriptions to, you know, 15 different companies, would that be good, or would that be not? Because then it would make them, like, try to create better games or have cheaper prices. It's that competition kind of the thing. The competition. Competition's always good for the end consumer. Exactly. We always get we always reap the benefits of competition. Exactly. And say if they brought this software off of the console platform and brought these streaming things to PC, theoretically, there goes the um, need for high end system requirements right then and there because you're streaming it from elsewhere. Yeah. Um, basically, um I know that um HD 4000 graphics on an Intel processor alone is enough to render Netflix in HD. So theoretically, 
That means you don't even need a, a dedicated GPU to get a streamed service to you. Just good internet. Yeah, just good internet. And here's hoping Google Chrome will speed their ass up. <laughs> Chrome? Chrome's I'm already Google, Google Fiber. Google yeah, was, Fiber to speed their ass up. I was going to say, it's like, what? Chrome, like, Chrome's already the fastest I like, browser. I like, I'm sorry. I, like <laughs> I have a question, though. In relation to this, though, like when I'm reading the article, it doesn't seem like it's talking. Well, because okay, because at this time it was a, it wasn't even thought of like streaming yeah. games because this is kind of an old, older article we're working off of. But it seems like they're saying less of like we're not going to have physical games anymore, and more of we just won't have game consoles. Yeah. Like they're, like okay, I we've all figured out by now. I'm the Sony guy here. Yeah. Um, the PlayStation 3, the reason, like, me and my family justified buying one, not just for the game, is that, um, is for, like, the Blu-ray player in yeah. it. Like, like, we use this almost, at, for a point, we use the PS3 more for movies than we did for actual gaming. So, like, I wonder if they're saying less of, like, is our specific game consoles gone and more is it like are game consoles just going to be is gaming just going to be another feature kind of like what the like Xbox a, has you know with the big TV thing that they're integrated yeah, yeah exactly and then there's like the Apple TV which is like for computer exactly. stuff even like it's is it just going to be is it going to be like standalone game consoles are dead and we'll just have integrated hardware I hope, exactly. I hope to have integrated hardware because then you still get competition with integrated hardware because there's multiple hardware manuf manufacturers such as I know um, AMD does a lot of the recent console stuff but if you're d you're talking like um, like say someone was doing like building a little um, home theater PC to do all this with which it would fill that niche damn it you sniped me jerk bro. <laughs> sorry sorry continue but you got a, a home theater PC, you've got the ability to upgrade, but then you've also got those multiple different hardware factors all competing for you. Yeah. And then on the software level, you have all those different publishers competing for you. Yeah. And because a home theater PC is not that expensive to make. Like, I can, I can build a PC that is um, considerably stronger than the console's. For about six seven hundred, yeah, and that's without cutting corners. Because yeah. there are corners you can cut, like um, oh, I know, finding motherboards on sale, getting a cheaper yeah. case, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, cutting back on RAM a little bit. I don't know, but we are gonna reap the benefits. This yeah. is all gonna give us benefits. Save us the moolah. Yeah, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Streaming oh, yeah. services, take my money. Yeah. What Jade Star said: people buy and build PCs for many different reasons. However, consoles only have one exactly. or two purposes. That is exactly right. And is so, that how it's going to be? And with well, yeah. um, with my computer alone, which I built over the course of a almost a decade. I've already got the full con the, um, console capabilities of a GameCube on here. I can play any GameCube game on here except Twilight yeah. Princess. That game slows down. <laughs> it's the only game I cannot play at 100% for the entire game. It's the only one! Yeah. Well, PC and... gaming is pretty crazy. <laughs> well, because they say the whole thing of by the time that the new consoles come out, they're already so far behind of the yeah the, PC the gaming top that it doesn't even matter. yeah and like we're um apparently um Nvidia had a pretty good breakthrough between the um the ch the chipset on the 700 series graphics cards and the 800 series which are yet to come out Almost. and um the newer cards are going to be much stronger there you go okay <laughs> i'm sorry it's just when you get into that extreme techie stuff I'm like twiddling my thumbs i just i don't know word yeah it, i i don't know how to and computer yeah pretty much the same way with other stuff not computer stuff i just i mean mini there's just nothing you can do about that 
<laughs> well, the There's nothing I, you can do about the community. I exactly. can argue that the Xbox One community is rude as hell. Yeah. But, like, um, Jade, and uh, Jade said instead of mm. buying many $60 games, you spent, like, X dollars a month for a lot of $60 games. Like, but that comes to the question, like, you're not, are you actually purchasing the games? Are you just renting them? Are you actually, I, I don't know. Yeah. Is, is that really worth it? Because not some people like that. I'm not really sure how I feel about spending $60 a month, or not $60 a month, but, like, $10 a month on something that, like, I end up only playing two games on there that I like. Yeah. And then is that really worth it that I end up paying $120 a month for playing one or two games when I could just buy the games themselves for like $80? And that's why Steam will be around for a long time. It brings so up a question, though. Is someone just, like what Jade said, instead of buying many $60 games, you spend X a month for a lot of $60 games. If streaming becomes the new thing, will the quality of the games go down, though? Think about it. Yeah, what do you that's mean a good that? question. Like, how much of their server power are they going to dedicate to your one oh, instance of the game? Mean. Yeah, I see what you or, mean. Like, or will they even put as much effort into it if they know that they might not get as much out of it? as? Yeah. And also, what about the possibility of, like, you just want to purchase the game, but they're only allowing it for streaming service only? Is that going to turn away some people? Yeah. yeah. Like, what if I, like, I if I want to, you know, go to EA and I want to you know, buy their purchasing software for one of their games, but I just want that one game, but I can't purchase it. I don't want to spend $100, $120 a year to play one game. And then that's one of the things you got to worry about with streaming. If that becomes a big thing, will streaming be the only thing? And then they're like, nope, you can't buy the game. You can't just take the game. You got to buy the whole package and stick with it for every month. And that's what I'm talking about. Sorry. Charizard boy, I'm not that's talking the physical hardware. I'm talking the um, theory behind it. Quantum computer can do multiple things at once. That's what I'm getting at. I, I'm not. I'm at, not actually referring to hardware because that's still all. That's still all, all theoretical and laboratory stuff. Like right now, I think our our current quantum computers can add like um exactly Jade. like two plus two equals four. I think that's how that's how far along we are with quantum computers. The theory has the potential to completely supersede it all. Exactly. Yeah. That's just one thing I'm kind of worried about also with this situation that if it ends up becoming... <laughs> sorry. Um, if consoles aren't... If consoles Science, aren't, motherfuckers! Yeah, yeah. If you end up having uh, consoles leaving and then you have just individual publishers selling to you, that would suck to have to deal with, you know, I want one game from this publisher and I want two games from that one, so I'm spending... Twenty dollars a month to play three games. Yeah. You so as would... of right now, I kind of do prefer consoles personally, as because like just because of the possibility of where it can go. As of right now, I would much rather prefer a console. Like the way I see it, like if a streaming service paired up with Steam, holy crap! Like there's there's already um. There are a distributing software suites on Steam instead of just games. Like, they don't just deal in games anymore. And, um, imagine if you could, um, just like you can get most of your games on standalone Steam, what Origin, you play. Imagine being able to get the streaming service on Steam. And then you get, like, your Steam functionality with it, too the value goes even higher. Yeah, that is... Actually, that's a really valid point. I don't know. Netflix I've just, for games. Netflix, yeah, pretty much, exactly. I'm just, yeah. as of right now, I'm kind of nervous as to where it can go to from here. It could go awesome. It could have all this, you know, all of these different publishers, all these different, you know, Microsoft and Sony, they could still be a major playing part in this, and they could end up, you know going the way of Steam where they have like all these awesome sales because it's all digital and everything like that but then you also have the possibility of what I said before you can't buy games you have to pay for the streaming every month yeah that's that's just what I'm worried about as of right now we don't know where it's going that's why that's why I think Steam will be around for a long time because people will want to just get the game and have it exactly here's hoping here's hoping here's the hoping <laughs> Here we go. Um, I was looking over it on live again. Um, 
Here's what it was. Um, on live works like you pay a flat rate payment plan, and you basically you're getting unlimited access to recent classic and indie titles. Like I remember seeing the library for on live once, and it's pretty damn big. Is it? Like it's not small. It's whatever games they could get a license for. Which do you think it was? Do you think it was just poor advertising, or they were a little too ahead of their time? It was poor advertising. So you combined think it was with advertised? a little, it combined with a little bit of ahead of their time. Yeah. Because remember, That's we're s we're crazy. still breaking out of the ISP stranglehold right now, Is where every the um, internet service provider stranglehold, where they oh, constantly Christ. give us Google shitty Fiber speeds. Soon enough. It just yeah. pisses me off because I've seen pictures of like Comcast and all these different companies when Google Fiber comes in, they're like we're you know quadrupling, septupling your speed, internet speeds for no reason. Like, so you mean you could have done this the entire time, but you're only doing it now because you have competition? Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. God. They just want our money, and Google Fiber has already I'm... proved that you can give those much bigger speeds yeah. and still turn a profit. Exactly. Yeah, I don't, Google you know, Fiber is profitable. Google is a company I welcome our Google overlords. I don't care if Google becomes a monopoly. As of right oh now, they are, they're wonderful. Everything they do is quality. Their company itself is wonderful. It's like the rated the best place to work for on every single list because of what yeah. they do for the employees and everything and their benefits and rates. And then every almost everything they get a hold of, they just make it. They have the golden touch. They pretty much the only thing they really screwed up is YouTube. Google+. Plus. <laughs> And Google, Google Plus, Plus was, that was a like, flop. That was their own. That was their new created thing. But I'm like, pretty much anything they purchased that they got in a hold of, they've turned to gold. Well, the thing is, Google Plus itself wasn't a problem until they tried to force it on us. Exactly. Exactly. That's, That's where they made the mistake. Yeah, exactly, Martin. <laughs> Martin is saying, Google Plus. Here's what Martin says, and I quote: "Fuck it." If I get Google Fiber at my city, I will even use Google Plus. That's not, that's I agree. I agree. <laughs> I, agree. <laughs> I for one welcome my Google Overlord if I have to. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I would I would welcome Google Overlords if I could get Fiber. <laughs> then I could actually stream at the thirty five hundred kilobits a second I want to, at ten eighty fucking p sixty, and I will be happy. That's what I mean. My, I was talking to my dad about Twitch or whatever, and he doesn't know much about it, but then he was just like, one day he was like, so I heard you guys got bought by Google, and I was like, <laughs> and, he, I was, and he was like, so, you know, it's like kind of like how YouTube was kind of like different. I was like, I don't know. I was like, I kind of like, I don't still don't know how I feel about it. I think there's good and bad aspects to both of it. The buyout will probably be perfectly fine as long as they don't put content ID on Twitch. Content ID. That would be the worst possible misstep they could do if they put content ID on Twitch. That would destroy the Twitch community. Like I said, Google has pretty much done a wonderful job at Golden Touch, Minus Touch, anything they get. Just about. Except content oh. ID and actually managing that stuff. That was that. That those are those are the their two big flops, is how mismanaged content ID is and their um their um copyright flag system. That's completely broken. For instance, um, um Jim Sterling off of the Escapist magazine. He did a um, a first impression of a game trailer off of Steam Greenlight, okay. which when you release a trailer, it's with the intent that people are going to look Spread at it. Spread it and, around. Yeah. He tore the game apart, though, and because he gave it a bad review, they copyright striked his channel. Yep. Bad move. Yeah, of course. The company that did the strike, which I think was like Cobra something, there was so much backlash oh, for that course. censorship to the point that their Steam Greenlight play page was shut down. Really? They have no more spot on Greenlight for Island Light. 
The game's called That's Island Light. Basically, they were um, they even went further that they were um, deleting comments and threads really? off of the green light form for Island Light. Like they were they were censoring even that. They put copyright strikes on several other videos which critiqued it poorly. Every single one of those claims were refuted and released. Yeah. And everyone who got involved basically voted no on the game. Wow. You will not find Island Light on Green Light anymore. That's insane. It's gone. There's still publishers out there that think that censorship of criticism is a good it's way to go. Work. And that no. they think it's going to work. No, it's not. That's how you kill your game. Yeah. That's how fucking um, Guys of the Wolf and um, Day One Gary's incident died. That's that's exactly what Jade Star just wrote in. Chatty said, Sanctus, this is exactly what happened to TV and uh, Day One Gary's incident. Yep. Guys of the Wolf and Day One Gary's incident both happened with Total Biscuit. And then Island Light happened with Jim Sterling. And the funny thing is, the um, Total Biscuits Reddit forum, which was the same place that the other two games got ripped apart from, okay. Jim's they rallied for Jim to Sterling on TV's Reddit. That's insane. Like, it was that much of an issue to them that that, that, that technically Such irrelevant no... thread got take, would, would never got taken down. Censorship is not something to fuck with. <laughs> That's something yeah. that I can understand over reaction to. But that's my I, opinion. Censorship just makes me sick. I know. It, it really. It, we're really lucky. <laughs> we're lucky that not only do we are we flip out like this and it gets fixed. I mean, we obviously still have a long way to go. Not everything's perfect, but we are. We should be very thankful for the level of sent. Uh, the very low level of censorship that we have in matters like this. Yeah. Jade Star makes a good point. They are butt hurt. Yeah. <laughs> they should be. They should be. Okay. Any last thoughts on that? On the whole uh, consoles becoming streaming instead of consoles themselves? I think um, we've said a lot on that content and even expanded beyond it even further. Well, I, yeah. I don't think consoles will go away per se, but I think they will leave the limitation of a single hardware set. We're already making those steps with the um, Steam Box, because it's yeah. meant to fill the um, the console niche with a fully functional computer. Yeah. Like, that's the niche they're targeting. I feel like we're going to have one more generation of consoles, like the normal stuff, you know, you go and buy a Microsoft, you know, made console, a Sony console, PlayStation, uh, uh, and then a Nintendo console. And after that, I think it's mostly going to be, you know, like, similar to what PlayStation Now is. You go and you buy a TV and it comes with a different service or you can download an app that's, you know, your Microsoft gaming and then you just buy the Xbox controller and you connect it to the TV. And that's how it goes from there. I think we're going to have one more generation of regular consoles and after that it's going to be something similar to streaming almost entirely well there's one other niche there that I, pro I don't think will change so much I think there will still be a handheld market for consoles oh yeah no absolutely yeah, well, I handheld, think, yeah but that's a different that's yeah. a, it's, it's handheld it's called handheld <laughs> yeah it's, it's a handheld a, console it's instead of AI exactly. yeah. yeah like the portable element the, yeah you're pretty much got to keep it small form factor you're, oh, you're not modular at that point yeah, Martin, the in music industry is so fucked, but in a good way. It's fucking over, you know, the major label companies, but the independent people, they're doing pretty damn good as of right now. Yeah, independents are, independent bands are doing wonderfully now. That's what I'm saying. It, the music industry is fucked in the best way possible. <laughs> for, yeah, it's, for you, don't, people. Yeah. you don't have to have a major record label you don't have to, to get noticed now. Nope. And you don't need a, a major record label to get big anymore. Yep, and record labels are not happy about that. And they can go fuck themselves because they've been warned about this for years. They are. I am very. Oh, oh I could go on for this. Nas for is very heat. Nas is very heated about this. I can tell. <laughs> I could go on for this for a while. I'm just gonna <laughs> stop myself now. But all I'm gonna say is that they saw this coming. This was known for a while, and they did nothing to stop it. And they're getting fucked in the ass because they deserve it. You know, and I don't you, feel bad. <laughs> you don't really have to rein yourself in. This is 
You can be yourself on my podcast. No, I'm saying, okay. no, no. Then I'm he says that if he starts I, now, he'll continue it for another hour. Yeah, I'll I'll go for another like half hour. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> And well, like, at least I'm, I got you to say dick on air. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we can pull one positive from this entire podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I got Nas to say that, dick. <laughs> exactly, there we go. I, I so, think that's everything. Yeah. I think we exhausted it. I think we're good. <laughs> I, th- I, th- I think we're good. We discussed, you know, Nintendo, Sony, the color of our walls. I think we did, covered pretty much everything. We did a lot of things. And exactly. wiggly string. We talked about my. I was just about to say my wiggly string. <laughs> my wiggly Gosh, string. Nas, put away your wiggly screen. Your wiggly yeah. string. Dang it! I screwed <laughs> up the joke. It was by demand. <laughs> joke dead. Bad. Seriously, I'm like, I could go dead. on for so long. And I kind of like the fact that you're a big and known as musician doesn't mean you're automatically super re- rich. The rock star dream is dead, so it's much more likely famous musicians are doing it for the music and not the bucks. Exactly. I mean, yep. not only do they have there's like mixtapes and you know free music releases are becoming such a huge thing just to get out there and then you go out and you tour which not only gets you the, the money but it also gets you to experience everything with the fans and everything one on one you can pull a Metallica they've already made their money anything yeah. else they do now is probably for fun yeah, it's just they've, money, they've already got their money proven by the album with Lou Reed yep <laughs> That you gotta really saying, don't care. Let's do it. I love Lou Reed. Yeah. I hate that album. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally just them jamming. That's <laughs> all of it. Over it. <laughs> oh gosh, it's oh, amazing. God. Um, even even Death Magnetic. That was that, that was, was actually good just album. a jam mail. I actually like that. Um, I can't remember what the um the second part of the album is called. But it's um, it was only released um, digitally. All right. Let me see if I can find it. I mean, my favorite album was uh, oh, probably. Uh, get over there. There we go. Ride the lightning, but I still like Death Magnetic. Let's see, two albums. I bet you're Beyond I like Magnetic. <laughs> Beyond oh, Magnetic right. was the EP, and it had four songs on it. That's right. I bet you're pretty surprised that I actually like Metallica, aren't you, Jerkro? <laughs> no, I think you've told me already. Oh, that's right. But, I mean, I know you're more into, like, rap and stuff. Rap is my number one thing. Yep. As, lo- uh, are, uh, as long as you aren't mixing country and rap. Oh, God, I fucking hate country. <laughs> <laughs> you, know love, what, like... you know what country and rap is? It's crap. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's your mean... cheap pun for the day. <laughs> Ugh. I, uh, I enjoy... Uh... <laughs> Most just about any music I can listen to any music, but I can't stand screamo, like that emo, the mix between emo and like, just like just I I, I like I metal is fine, but like screamo I can't stand. Uh, and uh, come and on country. Us. Come no, on. I'm sorry, I don't like. I I'm trying to like think of the best way. I'm not, like you're hard metal, like you know um the one that uh, Strider posted, like the burn motherfucker burn and everything like that. Yeah, that stuff I like, but like I'm trying to think of like um. Broken side, broken side. That I okay. Can't broken say. side is just that's a that's a whole other thing. Music like that, I guess maybe scream was not the best term, but that's stuff. <laughs> no, that's, like, that's that's that's. I'm stopping this conversation. <laughs> it's like I can't I can't take this shit anymore. I'm done. Someone kick him off the podcast. Kick na- kick Nas off the podcast. I came. Twice already. All right. Can't Nas, Nas, you off the podcast. Nasty yeah. off the podcast two hours into the podcast. <laughs> they, they can't even see you anyway off the podcast. <laughs> oh, goodness. Since this, this is just me and you, Jericho, why, why don't you plug for your channel and tell them where they can find you, what you've been playing, a little bit about yourself, what color are your shower shorts? What? Uh, I think they're red. Lost my check. The pair I'm wearing now. Yeah, it's red. Um. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. Oh, um, pay for that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so yeah I'm uh I'm Jericho Sonic Adventure DX mainly sometimes I do Sonic Adventure 2 um I guess people would say they know me for Big the Cat because I have yeah. world record on and off I, I know you for <laughs> bacon salt bacon, bacon salt <laughs> bacon also... salt and bacon salt the three I most also... required things for Oregon Trail 
I also stream Oregon Trail and, in, and include people in the chat on it, which is where bacon salt comes from. <laughs> we need more bacon! We need more salt! We need more bacon salt. <laughs> rub so salt just, in it! Rub salt on it! Rub salt on it. So we just... We have a good time, and that's at twitch.tv slash Jericho, J-E-R-K-R-O. Martin wants and to know, when are you doing um, the shower shorts shower percent sh speed run? Hmm. I don't know. 1,000 followers. you got to stream your shower shorts. You know what? If I, do, if I get 1,000 <laughs> followers, you can use this as proof. I will stream in shower shorts. <laughs> oh, I'm so <laughs> holding you to that. We I, have I, video I like, oh, fucking oh, evidence. <laughs> Hell, this is going to be the stream highlight. You making that claim. That's our stream highlight. You heard it here first, folks. Jerkrow at 1,000 followers is going to stream in shower shorts. It's shower shorts, the fucking movie. <laughs> Rub snow on it. Shorts cam. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there has to be a shorts cam. We have to know for sure that you are wearing shower shorts. Oh, that's great. Kind of get rated by Cosmo. Get 1,000 followers oh, in a day. In a day, I'd be like, I'd, I'd quit. I'd, I'd be done with Twitch at the end of the day. We'll make it happen. Oh my gosh. All right. I think it's Nas's turn. Uh, <laughs> I am Nas Premium 99. I stream run Banjo Kazooie. I'm gonna start running uh, Sunshine as well soon. Um, try to run as frequently as I can. I'd like to think that I'm improving. But pretty much it. And then, and then you missed the jump and fell into the water in Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> my favorite, I my favorite hate Rusty Bucket Bay. My favorite Nosfemi moment is the, like the, one of the first times you were doing uh, Furnace Fun when you knew how to do the skip. Like, oh, and, my and God. It, and it just kept screwing you. And it was yep. like, that was the only time I've seen you get like oh, legitimately I was really so salty at a game. Pissed. Like, that I was, was the first so time you get legitimately salty. Because oh, I was doing gosh. so good, I learned, I practiced to skip, I knew how to do it good, and then like the RNG was fucking me over. You couldn't even get a chance to do the skip. No, I didn't. It's because you didn't sacrifice question. shower shorts to RNGs. <laughs> every single grunty question was wrong. I got grunty questions on the Joker spaces, I got grunty questions on the Skull spaces. I was, oh my god, I was so mad that run. I was so far ahead, I could have PB'd by so much. Yeah, and then you get you get you get um you get skull questions, and they'd be grunty questions, and exactly. you get exactly, yeah. And I'll be like, I'll be like, what is going on? That was that was that was a nightmare. I, I can see the salt just oozing from your pores even now. Oh my god, the <laughs> salt concentrations are dangerously high. <laughs> you must cut salt down. levels, moon. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow, Jade. I appreciate that. <laughs> there you go. Wow, this plug thing really did work, huh? Exactly. So I should probably plug since this is being hosted as well. I'm the Sanctus Next. I do YouTube and Twitch. I've been live streaming um, Pokemon Coliseum. I need to finish um, Pokemon Emerald. I want to stream Pokemon Light Platinum. Ooh. Um, I've been streaming a bit of um, Far Cry 3, Bad Company 2, Planet Side 2, I've got um, Tomb Raider, Game of the Year Edition, which I plan to stream. Got it for like six bucks on a Steam sale, it was amazing. And then on um, YouTube, I'm doing, um, right now I'm doing Sniper Elite V2 and Borderlands 2, which Borderlands 2, I'm playing that with Shane Kills. How is that game? Borderlands 2? Yeah. It's fun shoot bang bang. Is it basically like I'm not looking for like creative like excellent writing. I'm looking for a fun game. Is it a fun game? It is a fun game. Okay, good. Because a lot of people are like, oh, it's so meme heavy. It's so cheesy. It's so childish. I don't give a fuck. Is it fun? <laughs> That's the important That's thing. Okay, if, good. if you get it, I'd play it with you. Yeah. It's, it's pretty now? fun with multiple people. Huh? I, don't, I only have an Xbox. I don't PC. How strong is your PC? I <laughs> it's not strong at all. That's just a joke question at this point. <laughs> the school, oh the, the PCs at my school are stronger than mine. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's everything. I'm going to turn off the stream and then turn it back on so we can raid someone. But...
for the YouTube people. That's all for today, everyone. Say bye, and be sure to hold Jerkrow to his word on the shower show. Oh, arts. I sure shit will. <laughs> Ooh, barbecue right <laughs>